Here I am on good old Linden Creek, the little charters. My name is George Block. I'm a freelance outdoor writer and a idle fellow that likes to fish and spends and waste his time along a creek bank. But uh, today I'm going to spin. The creek's been pounded hard. It's only about the fourth day of the season, so there's been a, probably 500 people up and down this creek and trout are spooked. But we're going to try. Uh, I basically spin a lot. I don't like getting my hands dirty with worms. Now, the lure I'm using today is a rooster tail, and yellow coach dog is the color. I've been using these things for years, and uh, I'll probably catch, if I catch 100 trout in the course of the season, I'll probably catch 80 on, on the yellow coach dog. I have learned long ago that the best way to fish a spinner is really a cross stream. And as remember, the fish do not lay in just anywhere in the creek. You're going to find certain areas where they're at. They, uh, it's like a lake, they always say that 90% of the fish are in 10% of the water, and it's probably really true. As I look at this creek, what I'm looking for is cover. Trout don't like to lay out in the open. They'll be hugging a rock under a tree limb uh, along a stump. You're, I call it reading the water, and I'm standing here right now, and I'm looking at a bunch of rocks in the water, which could hold trout, although I think the water's a little shallow in that spot. Uh, more than likely, I'll fish a little bit below the rocks. I, I know this area a little bit. Well, the shoreline's muck bottom, which uh, prevents me from wading. Uh, there are some rocks and some cover out there, so I'm going to try it. I have always thought that a trout or any game fish is a predator. A predator is an opportunist. And an opportunist doesn't chase a lively meal. And a, a minnow swimming... Uh, Upstream is usually a pretty healthy minnow, but uh, so we're looking for one that's one going downstream, which more or less points out that he's uh, something wrong, he's not right. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cast there's a stick hanging out of there, and there's a few rocks in the water in that position. I know what's out there, and try the rooster tail. I didn't quite get out where I wanted that time. The first cast that usually happens, and again, you vary the speed of the lure. Sometimes I'll bring it in quick, sometimes I'll bring it in slow. You notice the other side of the creek is the deeper side of the creek. The year before last, I caught a 23-inch brown trout out of here. If you notice, I'm wearing neutral colors. You'll never see me wear bright red or bright orange uh, clothing when trout fishing. On a small stream like this, it's not a very big stream when the water's clear, trout can see you. And uh, in many cases, unless they're really pretty far away or in really deep hole, they can see you. And when they can see, if you can see them, they can see you and they are not colorblind. Well, we always talk about animals being colorblind. Fish see colors. That's why the color of the lure sometimes makes a big difference in catching fish, no matter what kind of fishing you're doing. And one of, the, one of the keys is uh, putting the lure close to the fish. So many times, that's why I cast around different areas, many times a trout will lay under something, and you can cast him ten times. Land five feet from him, he won't move. Lay that lure in right on his nose, and he will take it. I'm going to move down a little bit. You have to judge your uh, retrieve speed by water conditions. How fast the water is moving. You want that blade to turn. You don't want it real too fast. But you want the blade to turn. And you can feel it. I'm going to move again. And I'm going to try about one or two more casts and I'm going to move again. That was a good cast. That's... I'm not sure, but I think I just saw one. Excuse me. I wear polarized glasses so I can see through the water. You can see the fish better. It increases your visibility in the water, cuts the reflection off the surface. And it's actually a big aid if you're trout fishing, particularly when I'm fishing the mountain streams where they're crystal clear, not as deep. I, wear pull, I, wouldn't, I don't want to fish without Polaroids on. I'm going to try something. Maybe a fool's errand, but I'm going to try something different. It's an old lure. I don't even think it's made anymore, and I haven't used one of these for probably 30 years. It's the first spinner. I ever caught a 
treadle. I don't mean the individual spinner. I mean it's the first type of spinner. It's called a CP swing. I don't even know if they make it anymore. Very basic, nothing to it spinner, but it worked in its day. The trouble in this area, southwestern PA, there's not that many trout streams in Washington County. In Green County, Green County Browns, since virus and stations closed, you know, it's just uh, the waters are not there. Hey, I got one. Had to get him on bait of all things. You ready? Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lift him up out of the water. Little brownie. Hey, I don't have to take him off the hook. Little brown trout, eh, about 10 inches long. He's bleeding, so we're going to take him home and eat him. <laughs>